The largest, 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 largest prank call radio station in the nation. You're listening to Prank Call Nation. Prank Call Nation. Prank Call Nation. Cactus, 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 cactus. Hi there, this is Roy, and you're listening to the Snowplow Show for December 23rd, 2015. Today's show is sponsored by Tony in Arizona, and on this show we're going to call Uber drivers and pretend to be cab drivers and threaten to set their cars on fire. It's going to be so great, so let's go ahead and get started on that. Today is a live show, live in the PCN chat room, because PCN is a thing that exists and will never go away, so let's get started on that. News, sports, music, but, 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 mostly prank calls. You're listening to, you're listening to, you're listening to Frank Call Nation. I got this email from uh, Jasper Flax. Jasper Flax says, hey, Arby. Wait, no, he didn't say hey. He says, Arby, this looks like a potentially fruitful list for your roofing pranks. Provides work and home phones along with home addresses. Hope this works for you. And he sends me a PDF list. It's not a very long list. But a while back, I kind of put out a call saying that uh, I wanted people's work phone numbers but their home addresses so that I could call them and pretend to be at their house doing some sort of crazy construction thing at their house and this list has that and I don't know I don't understand what this list is it's some sort of business people list hold on let me zoom in on this tiny print the International Association of Administrative Professionals and then there's a thing that says chapter of excellence be the one like a big inspirational logo. Be the one. I don't understand what it is. It's a membership directory. The first lady on the list, her name's Christy. And her email address is uh, ameritrade.com. If you guys were, know what that is, it's like a stock trading thing. It's very business-like. Very corporate. Lots of business people on here. So I'm just going to call her work and see what happens. Call Christy's work. Sorry, Christy is not available. Record your message at the tone when you are finished. Fuck, fuck, fuck. So far, so good. Oh, this isn't finance. This is Laura. Hi, is Marilyn Brown available? Marilyn retired about two and a half years ago. Ah, fucking, fucking shit. All right. I'll just try her at home, I guess. Okay. All right. Well, um, all right. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this list is from 2012. I just kind of assumed they would all still have their jobs because they're corporate businessy people. But no, probably none of these are going to work and I'm just going to quit the show and accomplish nothing at all. Correspondent Lending, this is Patty. How can I help you? Hi, is Jennifer Cormier available? She no longer works at First National. Oh, fuck. Is, is there, pardon me? I said, oh, fuck. I thought she was still there. No. Okay. Well, I don't know. I guess I'll try her home phone. Okay. But, you know, like, really fucking shit. Why'd she leave? Pardon me? I said, fucking shit. Why did I she heard, leave? I heard you. Why did you say part of me? P- because of your language. Oh, when you I said... Wanna... You mean where I said fucking shit? Yeah. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. Is, Come on, we're adults. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, no, I was just hoping to talk to Jennifer. She's not here anymore. Well, you already told me that, and then I was like, fuck, you know? I wonder, I wonder why Goodbye. she. I wonder why she quit. I. She found something else. Where's Where'd she go? And who am I speaking with? My name's Roy. And who are you with? I'm a telemarketer. I was gonna try and sell her something. Okay, you can go away. But Goodbye. Then, but then, fuck, you know. <laughs> well, this really blows. My whole idea is not working. 
Technical Services, Kay speaking. May I help you? Hi, Kay. This is Roy from Roy Co. Construction. Okay. And uh, we're at your house right now. We're doing your roof. And no, you aren't. What do you mean, no, I'm not? You're doing my roof? Yeah, we're we're uh, taking your roof off today, but we had kind of a problem. At where? Over on... You better not be. Oh, no, we've taken the roof off already. It's just the problem is that um, some of the wood underneath... You took the, you took the roof off? Yeah. We didn't even order it. Oh, no, someone from... The, it says K... and it has your address. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, well, I'll, all right, I'm sorry. But anyway, the problem was what I was trying to tell you is that um, some of the plywood underneath the shingles was rotted. So one of our workers fell through to inside the house. And um, he's he's been, you know, he's hurt his ankle. Well, for one thing, I never had any roof to be done. Are you saying you're not going to pay for this? Because we've already taken the roof off. And you signed a contract. No, I never. Well, someone named Kay signed the contract and they sent us to your house. No, I never. Well, we've taken the roof off already. You're saying we shouldn't put the new one on? Um, can you hold on a second? Why? I need to call my husband to verify that he didn't do something because I never signed a contract for, with you ever. Well, there's no... It just says Kay here on the form. Well, I didn't do it. Okay. Well, you don't need to get an attitude with me. I mean, we're, we're just, I'm not. I'm just doing I'm my job. I'm just that... I just, I'm just worried that my house is, um, if you took my roof off Mm -hmm. and it's wet outside. Well, no, we're going to put, we're going to put plastic over it. If you're not, if you're not going to. But I did it. I didn't order a new roof. I don't need a new roof. We're going to put tarp over it though. So it doesn't get wet. I don't need a new roof. Okay. Well, it's, it's already been done. We've already taken the old roof off. So do you want us just to leave your roof just completely open and just put tarp on it and go home? I think you need to stay there for one minute while I get on my husband on the phone and verify what's going on. Okay. And figure out what is the deal because I have no money to pay you. Okay. And I didn't authorize oh, anything. Oh, well, we're not finishing then. I mean, we're just going home. If you're not even going to pay us for it, we're just leaving. Well, I need to find out what I need to do as far I mean, as getting this taken care of. Someone's got to pay for this tarp. So if you're not going to pay for tarp, I'm not going to well, pay Well, that's any- what I'm saying. So I'm you gonna, need to hold on a minute, okay? And plus this guy fell, talk to my husband. He fell into your house. Is your husband at the house? Because nobody's answering the door. No, nobody is home. Oh. It's the dog. Okay. And I would imagine the dog's probably not very happy Oh, he's right now. not happy because this guy fell through the ceiling and landed inside. And who am I talking to? Uh, my name is Roy from Roy Co. Construction. Roy... Royco Construction. Yeah, and they filled out the form to have your roof taken off online. 4081, right? Yep, that's it. Yay, okay, you have a caller on. ID. Just hold on one second. Okay. This is corporate hold music. This roof is really fragile. Sir, I cannot get a hold of my husband to get home. Okay. Can you stay there for just a few minutes so I can take off work and get there? Um, sure, yeah, but, um, I mean, we're already packing up to go home because Chad had to leave because his ankles hurt, and we well, only have two other guys here. I will... I will be there in less than 15 minutes. Oh, um, are you just, are you rush, rushing? Oh, sorry. I gotta, we're, we're cutting through the, um, through the roofing slat things. Don't cut anything. No, no, we're just, we're just using the circular saw on it. It's okay. But you shouldn't be doing anything to my roof. I never authorized anything. I know, but on, on, online they said you want to put a dormer on the roof. No. Like, for, so, you know, if you have someone staying in the attic, they can see out no, a window out the front? absolutely not. So we have to cut through these. No, absolutely not. All Don't right. do any more work. All Stay right. there. Doug, stop. Stop cutting. I don't think he heard me. I did not oh. authorize anything to be done to my house. Oh. So okay. I don't know what's happening, but I, it's... 
I'm okay. gonna, I'm heading that way. Okay. Well, I told Doug to stop cutting those things because we're not going to put a dormer on if you're not going to pay us because you already said you're scamming us. I'm not scamming you. I didn't do anything. Okay. So just stay there. I will be there right, in less just, than 15 minutes. It's hard to stop once we started. Okay. All right. I'll be waiting. All right. Bye. Okay. Doug. <laughs> so she's rushing over. Um, all right. Let me get a post-it. Since I'm using a PDF and I can't edit it, I can't write notes. She said she's going to be there in 15 minutes. So, uh, 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 I'm going to call her at 1.35. We can't forget. I know, Fletch, I need to get a PDF editor. Damn it. She's going to be so surprised when she gets home and her roof's still on her house. So Jasper Flax, you are forgiven for those other crappy first ones at the beginning. I guess. You're listening to listening to the Prank Call Nation Network Machine. Hello. 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 At prankcallnation.com. Let's move on to the next person on the list. Her name is Rena. Electric. Hi, is this Rena? No, Rena no longer works here. Ah, fuck. Excuse me? I said fuck. I mean, it sucks. I was trying to get a hold of her and she gave us this as a work number. Good luck. Fuck. Fucking shit. <laughs> Corporate people do not like cursing. Corporate companies. They are afraid of the fuck word, apparently. Alright, we're gonna call Eva. Oh, there's a picture of Eva. Look at Eva in her corporate suit thing. Facilities, this is Kim. Hi, is Eva there? Uh, she is not. Can I help you with something? Oh, does she still work there? Yes, she's just out on leave. Oh, okay. Um, I'll try her at home, I guess. Okay, thank she, you. She said she's gonna be at work. Do you know when she'll be back? Um, I don't actually. Oh, fuck. Is there something I can help you with? No, no, I just, I thought she'd be there, so I'm just disappointed, and I'm just like, fuck. Sorry. Yeah, you know, fucking shit. Stupid Eva. (laughs) All right, well, have a nice day. Thanks. Bye. I think she giggled at me. (laughs) I hope Kay doesn't get in a car wreck rushing to her house to look at her roof. (laughs) Stop them from putting the dormer on the front. Planning and design. Hi, is this Janet? No, would you like to speak to Janet? Yeah, that'd be great. Just one moment. Janet, may I help you? Hey, Janet. This is Roy from Roy Co. Roofing. Mm-hmm. And um, I just needed to let you know we had a small problem at, here at your house where we're taking your roof off. You're not taking the roof off my house. Oh, yeah. Here on Saratoga Street. Oh, one Saratoga Street? Yeah, yeah. We've taken the roof off already, but there, we ran into a small problem. Oh, no, you're kidding me. No, why do you say that? Hello? <laughs> Oh, crap. (laughs) Damn it. She hung up. Add some hammers. That'll convince her. RDG, planning and design. Oh, could I talk to Janet, please? We got disconnected. Oh, sure. Hold on. Thanks. This is Janet. Janet, I don't know why you're hanging up on me. Uh, We have an employee that's hurt here. He... There, there, there was some rot underneath the shingles and the plywood, and uh, one of our. You're not taking the roof off my house. We have no one taking the roof off my house. We, we've. You must be at the wrong place or have the wrong place. No, I'm, I'm at, the one Saratoga Street, and we were, we were given an, a, a work order to take this roof off. And my husband's there. He would let me know if they were taking. And the there's, roof off there's my some. House. I'm sorry, you must have the wrong. There's person. nobody here because we tried knocking. 
Ah. All right, foiled by the husband, I guess. These corporate people are just too smart for me. Four minutes till K. K. First date of this, Jackie Malview. Hi, is Linda there? Um, Linda's no longer with the company. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, fuck. I thought she'd still be there. What do you mean you thought she'd still be here? Well, she gave us this as her work member. So, you know, fuck. Oh. Well, what does that mean? Do you know her personally, or...? Oh, um, well, sort of. I mean, yes and no. Okay. I, I, I just, I'm just disappointed that she's not there, so I'm just like, She retired. Fuck. I'm just like, fuck. Oh, she retired. Yeah, fucking shit. <laughs> Is there something I can help you with, or...? No, I guess not. I was just going to do some telemarketing work. Okay, well, she's not here, so you're ah, good. Fuck. All right. I'll All right. Have take a great day. Name off my list. Thank you. Bye. Well, Presbyterian Seminary Foundation. This is Susan. Oh, is Linda available? Uh, Linda no longer works here. Oh, fuck. Uh, I thought she'd still be there. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. Where'd she go? Well, <laughs> who's want calling, please? Uh, my name is Dave. Dave? Uh, Dave. All right. Is there anyone else who might be able to help you? Or no, just Linda. Fuck. <laughs> I'm not sure. I appreciate that language. Oh well, no. I'm just disappointed that she's not there. So I'm just like fucking shit. Fucking well, shit. Well, I'm gonna hang up now. If anyone else can help you, please but, let but me know. Fucking shit, cunt canoe. <laughs> Nobody appreciates my language. Oh, okay, hold on. I, it's time for me to call Kay back. All right, so um, this list it includes her home phone number and her cell phone number, and her work number and her birth date, a bunch of other shit. So this should be hilarious. She has a cell phone with no voicemail. Let's try her home phone. Maybe she's inside to make sure there's not a hole in her ceiling. And she doesn't have an answering machine in her home either. What the hell? How does she not have a machine in her home? Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The wireless customer you called is not available at the... Try one more time. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The wireless... Well, damn it. Okay, I guess we're not going to talk to Kay. That's a bummer. Help. This is Janet. May I help you? Hi, Janet. This is Roy from Royco Construction. Okay. And um, I just I have a question about your roof. We're we're taking your roof off today, you know. And um, okay. Mm. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Is this not Janet McDonald? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're taking your roof off today over on South Forty Eighth. You're taking it off. Yeah, we well we've taken it off, but we ran into a small problem. There's an area that was rotted, and uh, one of my coworkers, Chad, he was standing on that area, and he fell through into the inside of the house. So we're gonna need to replace some some plywood here. It's not very expensive. I just thought you should know before we uh, proceeded with it. Okay. Um, I'm really confused. Why are you confused? It's just, it's just rot. The, the wood. Okay, who hired you, though? Um, well, it says here in the form that you did. To take off your roof? No. Do, do you not live at 50 South 48th? Okay, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, we're at your house right now. We just took your entire roof off. You're joking. You, this is, is this a prank? No, why... Why would you say it's a prank? I'm just trying to let you know about a problem that we have here while we're doing the work. Hold hold on just a second, okay? Okay, sure. The hell, Janet. Hello? Hi. Okay. Okay, what? Um, so what's, what, what's the address you're at? Um, 50 South 48th. 
So you didn't order South, your, you didn't order a new South Forty Eighth what? Street or Ave? Um, I don't know which one it is. It just says Forty Eighth on this form, and that's where we're at. We're at the house. Because I have not ordered any work to be done on my roof. Oh, well, someone used your name then. They used our form online. It's a new thing we set up on our website where you can just submit your work orders online. How long have you guys been there then? Uh, Just uh, about an hour now. Just long enough to take the roof off. We're getting ready to saw into the uh, the roof things um, for the dormer. We're going to put a big Mm -hmm. dormer and a window on the front part. Are you saying we should stop? Well, I I haven't requested any work. Okay. Well, we've done it already. I mean, I guess we can quit and leave, but then you won't have a roof. You know? So you want us to stop, I guess? Okay. We'll stop then. Okay. We'll go home. Okay. But, you know, it's kind of rainy out. You might want to pick up some tarp on the way home to put on this roof. Okay. Might want to do that. I don't see okay. why, why. Why do you have such an attitude with me? I just uh, call into... Because I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what a roof is. I know what a roof is, but I did not order anything to be done to the roof. You know roofs don't last forever, and they have to be replaced periodically. So that's what we're doing. We're replacing your roof. And who's who's paying for this, then? You are. It's got your name on it. You better pay. I don't think so, because I never ordered anything. Okay, well, you can just not have a roof on your house. And we're not cleaning up the yard, either, where we threw all the shingles down. Okay. You know, okay, thanks. Fuck that shit. Why, would, why should we clean up your yard if you're not even paying us, you big scammer? You know she'll be wondering all day at work today, is my roof gone or is it there? I don't know. The largest prank call station in the nation. You're listening to Prank Call Nation. If your roof has a leak or if your floor has caved in, our professional workers will come to care of it. If you need an intro door to your laundry room, we don't have to tell you what we're going to do. We aren't licensed or bonded. We don't deal with permits. We'll install a pool for you and do it a goodie split. We are always discreet with our late night installs. Royco Construction will handle all of your construction and handyman needs, whether it be plumbing, roofing, work around the house, or heck, I'll even come over and mop your floors. Give us a call at 536-7859 for a free estimate, or come visit us on 8th Street right next to McDaverson's Grocery Store. Mention KFall for a $10 discount. Visit Royco in Telephone Falls. Okay, let's finish up this list. Stupid list that's not even working. Well, I mean, it's sort of working. I'm going to be really sad if Kay doesn't pick up her work phone when I call back later. This is Cindy. Hey, Cindy, this is Roy from Roy Co. Construction. Yes. And um, I just needed to let you know we have a problem with, uh, we're, you know, we're taking your roof off today, your house. And there's... Uh, not my house. Oh, does this not Cindy Norton? Yes. Why are you taking my roof off? Oh, there was an order placed to have your roof replaced. No. You, you didn't place an order? Did, did your husband do it, maybe? Because we're, we're here. We've already removed the roof. No. Here on uh, on W Street. Yeah, no. Uh, who, who placed this order? It says here on the order form, Cindy did. Are, are you Cindy? No. Are you Cindy Sr.? Or Junior? I'm Cindy Norton. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, is there a Cindy Junior? Maybe maybe she replaced... Maybe she placed the order. No. Oh, okay. And what company are you with? I'm with Roy Co. Construction. 
And we already we we already removed the roof. I, I was calling to tell you about a problem because there, we found some rot underneath the roof, underneath the shingles. We we just had that roof replaced about two years ago. Well, you shouldn't replace it then if it's only been two years. It, uh, these things are good for like at, at least thirty oh, I, years. Th- no, I did not talk to anybody. I mean, you, that's kind of a waste of money to replace it every two years. Uh, I did not talk to pointless. anybody. We did not talk to anybody about replacing a roof. Oh well, they submitted the order online, but we're here. We did the work. I mean, you, no you, order was submitted online. Yeah, no. Yes, it was. It's through our new system, through our website. No. So you don't live at. W Street? Yes, we live there, but nothing has been done. I have not replaced... Why would I have my roof replaced when it's less than three years old? That's what I was asking. I thought that was really stupid to do. I mean, it seems like a waste of money. But it's not... I will be there. But it, Okay? But there, there's a problem. Can I tell you? This is a mistake. It, okay. okay? All and right. I am not paying for it. Well, we we still have to take apart the, the all the, the joist things in the roof, whatever those are called. We're, we're cutting. Those. I don't know. You're the contractor. You should know what those are called. Well, we're cutting those out right now because we're going to put a big dormer. No, you, in the front. you just stop. Stop but, all work. I will be there. This is a mistake. I, do not touch my roof. Well, we've already started, and the contract's been do filled out. Do not touch just, my th- roof. These are sir. U- union workers, and if we if they if we stop, they're going to sue us or something. I am telling you to stop. Okay, I, I'll tell them to stop. But you didn't. You never even listened to the original problem I had. Sir, I, we we did not ask for a new roof. Okay, but do you want to hear the problem? There was some rot, and and Chad, one of the my coworkers, he fell through the roof. He's inside the house now. Like, oh, he's inside my house. Yeah, well, because the roof was rotting. I mean, this is dangerous. He could have killed okay, him. Okay, I will be there, sir. Okay, but he he fell through. <laughs> Oh, it's too late, Steve Insanity. I can't tell her to calm her tits. I wish I wish I could have. Your call is Cindy Norton. <laughs> She's not picking up. She just rushed right out of there. I wonder how long it takes her to get home. Alright, let me let me write myself another post it. Call Cindy Norton. Uh, what should I give her? Like ten minutes, maybe. Yeah, eleven minutes. I'm gonna call her at two o five. And um, let's see. Let's call Kay up. Let's let's call Kay at work and see if she thinks the joke was funny. You have reached the desk of Kay CPS CAP. I'm sorry. What happened to Kay? I bet you she rushed. She was rushing to her house. And she probably got in a car wreck and died. So rest in peace, Kay. I didn't mean to kill you. It was just supposed to be a prank call, but I'm really sorry that it happened this way. That's two people that got kind of pissed off about their roof. HDR, this is Scott. Is Pat Roth there? Uh, you know, I believe she is no longer with the company. Ah, fucking shit. Okay. Was there anyone else you would like to speak with? or? Oh, no, just Pat Roth. But fucking shit, she's not there. Yep. Fucking shit. You know? You know? Was there anything else I could help you with? or? Um, do you have her home number? I don't. All right. Well, fuck. This must be a club for really old people, because most of them are retiring within three years. This is Andrea. Is Sarah there? Oh, um, I'm not sure she's at her desk, but I can look her phone number up and transfer her. Okay. Okay. You're gonna trans- where are you going to uh-huh. transfer her to? I'm going to transfer you to Sarah. Oh. And let me just look up her phone number. I'm not sure. Um, and I can give you her direct dial number as well. Oh, she told me it was this one. She, uh, She's such a liar. 
Pardon me? She's such a liar. She told me this number was hers. Oh, well, maybe you dialed wrong. I can transfer you to her. Okay, that'd be great. Okay. Transfer me to the liar. Okay, hold on just one moment. This is Sarah. Oh, hey, Sarah. This is uh, Roy from Roy Co. Construction. Okay, I, hi. Hi, I was just calling about the work we're doing at your house today. We ran into some problems. Uh, what? We're, we're replacing your siding on your house? No. And no, not. Oh, did no. I reach the wrong Sarah? Is this Sarah? Sh- yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're at your house today. We're replacing your siding. What's the what's the address? It's seventy three circle. Huh? It, are, did do you, did your husband do this? Maybe you don't know about it. You know what? Uh, I'm going to have you call a different number and talk to Mary. Yeah, I don't know anything about this. Oh, okay. But uh, you do live at seventy three so circle. That's where I live. Yeah, we're we're replacing all of your siding today. We're putting black siding up. We've already done the front of the house, and we're working on the siding. Who is this? This is Roy from Roy Co. Construction. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. But the problem is we we found some uh, bees, beehives, behind the siding. So, wait a second. So, uh... I know. I think someone's pranking me. I'm not pranking you, ma'am. I'm with Royco Construction. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, with my name on the on this? Yeah, your, yours is the only name on this form. It's an uh, order for uh, just uh, to have your siding replaced. It's going to be black no. vi- vinyl siding. I don't know anything about this. Okay. Well, should so, we go ahead and finish up? Uh, I have up? a different number for you. Okay, who is this? Who am I calling? Uh, my partner. Okay. So, because it isn't my house. Whose house is it? So, the, the number, you'll be talking to Mary. Okay. And my number is, her number is 415. Is she at the house? Because we tried knocking and nobody's answering. No, she's, uh, well, I think she probably works. You don't know she works. Right. Who is this? Well, you're saying you don't think she works. Don't, do you, don't you know? Okay. I mean, she, she's uh, your partner, Jesus. Okay, so I, I guess I'll call Mary, and what do I say to her? Lame. Hello? So... Can you tell me your... What's your last name? Sherbell. And your number? Oh, I can't give that to you. You don't even own the house. So I'm, I'm just going to call Mary, I guess. That sounds good. Okay. Fine. Oh, uh, I got to hurry. You know, she's going to be texting Mary any second or calling her or something. So corporate partner or... Partner, partner. I sure don't know. This is Mary. Oh, hey, Mary. This is Roy from Royco Construction. I'm just calling about you. Then you with who? Royco Roy? Roy Construction. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sarah told me to call you. She gave me your number because we're we're uh, replacing the siding at your house today. Uh, she. No, you're not. <laughs> oh no, we are. We, we've already taken the siding off, and we're putting the new siding on right now. No, you're not. What do you mean? No, we're not. We are. We're a construction company. Yeah, well, <clears throat> why don't I uh, meet you there at that construction site in fifteen minutes? Okay, we're at seventy <laughs> circle. Okay, we'll meet and, you there. Yeah, we'll be here, motherfucker. <laughs> she hung up. That was pointless. Whatever. Okay. We're almost to the end of the list. Um, I still want to give uh, Cindy Norton a call uh, at 205. Oh, it looks like I'm scheduled to call her right now. 
How many people do I have left? Let's see. Oh, not many. Let's just go ahead and finish up my list here first, and then I'll call Cindy Norton. And I'll give Kay a try back. See if Kay will pick up yet. Maybe she didn't die. Maybe she just got in a minor fender bender. It's possible. Good afternoon, United Seeds. Hi, is Nancy Simpson there? Um, Nancy's retired. Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah. Is this something I can help you out with? Well, fucking shit. No, I was just gonna... I just wanted to talk to her. Okay. Sorry. I'm a Nigerian. I was gonna try and scam her out of money. Oh. (laughs) Okay. I'm glad you think that's funny to trick old people out of money. (laughs) You're kind of a dick. Yeah. All right. Well, bye. Everybody's retired. College Madison. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. This is Roy from Royco Construction, and uh, I'm just calling. Yes. Um, I'm calling about the work we're doing today. Um, we had kind of a problem here on your roof while we were taking it off. Mm, nope. Wrong number. This isn't Diane. This is Diane. This oh, okay. Is, I do not have any roof problems. Oh no, we've already we're taking the roof off. We're replacing the no. roof. No. You don't no. live on Wrong South Thirty South Thirty Fifth Avenue. Ah. Your call is being answered by Audic. Whatever. Diane, turn. It's ignoring my calls now. Uh, let's see. I think I might be on the last one. Nope, no home address on that one. This one, Vicky, she's gotta work. She's gotta she's she's gotta react good because this is the last person. Last person on the list. Hi, you have reached Christy Davis in the radiology department. Damn it, Christy. And that's not even the right person. It's supposed to be Vicky. I think the show's over. It's over. Um, but we're going to call Cindy Norton right now first. Cindy was the most recent one to get upset and rush out of her office to her home, I think. Possibly getting in a car wreck and dying on the way. Physiology, this is Kim. Hi, is Cindy available? Uh, she's on the other line. Can I take a message? Oh, I can just try back. Does she usually stay on the phone for Hello? Her? Oh, here she is. Oh, hello, Cindy? Hello. Cindy? Yes. Remember that time I prank called you and said we were taking your roof off? Yes. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Who is this? This is Roy from Roy Co. Construction. Uh, no, who is this? My name is Roy. I'm from Royco Construction. I actually, I really do work for Royco Construction, but we're not really taking your roof off today. All it, right, so what are you doing then? It was just a joke. It's a slow day here at the office, here at Royco, so I'm just prank calling people. Well, it's not very funny. Well, not to you. Did you rush home? No, I did not. Did you call someone to see if your roof was really off? What do you want with me? Did you call a neighbor and ask him to look? We're just making prank calls, but I want to see how it went, because it's kind of boring that I didn't get to see it. So can you just describe your the, the craziness that happened after you slammed down the phone on me? <laughs> oh my god, that, that other lady was sitting there listening the whole time. She's listening on the extension. What the hell kind of hobo business lets you even do that? Pick up extension phones and listen. You have reached the desk of Kay CPS CAP, <sighs> Secretary of Information Technology. Darn it. All right. Well, I think I'm done with this whole thing. So thank you, Jasper Flax, for sending this list in. And um, it was fun. Some people got upset about it. That was kind of humorous. One lady died. Rest in peace, K. The l- l- largest prank call station in the nation. You're listening to Prank Call Nation. 
You know, I forgot to do the voicemails in the middle of today's show. So instead of in the middle of today's show, I'm just going to do the voicemails on the end of the show. Basically, it's the end of the show right now, and she's just tune out and not listen to these stupid voicemails. But if you like voicemails, if you're into that sort of thing, I'm going to play a shitload of voicemails today. Hi, hi, Brad. I check out those uh, YouTube videos of the UK Black Fridays. There's a lot of people fighting over, like, a TV and stuff. Yep. You've got to give those YouTube videos a check. Well, anyway, I, I wanted to phone up to say that uh, the cause of mass confusion idea, what about adding a quiz sort of thing to it? Where, what? Uh, where you ask the, the, the customer some general knowledge questions. Oh, and something oh. you can, and then probably make an idea out of it. I can't think of an idea, so I'll just, I'll oh just mention my god, the take your meds. That's enough of you. I always have to turn my mixer way down whenever he calls in because he's always screaming. Uh, hey Brad, this is El Hombre. What up? Yay! I know how to pronounce your name now. Okay. Um, I got a got a bit of a a, 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 a joke for you, and it goes like this. What's the difference between ignorance and apathy? I don't know. What does this joke have to do with telephones or my show? I don't know, and I don't care. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It's not a phone joke, is it? Anyways, I uh, just thought I'd say, hey, what up? And uh, enjoying the shows and keep them up, keep them going, and okay, make calls. Okay, bye. With the phone See machine. you later. Bye. Have a nice day. Hey, Brad. This is Joe Beggs. Hey, Joe. I was uh, listening to some of the old shows. And uh, you should call back uh, that Peter guy from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, so, uh, blasphemy. Yeah. You don't call it Charlie Cactus. and the Chocolate Factory? Cactus Cactus. Even though that's the name of the original book? Yeah, I wish I knew where that was. I know it's a, I think it's an old phone show or just a conference or something. But years ago, I think it was Nunu that gave me the phone number of the kid who played Charlie in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the 1970s version. And I called him up and he didn't answer, so I hacked his answering machine... And if anyone knows where that is, send me a link to it or tell me, you know, exactly what time and which show it is. And maybe I'll play it on the next show. Assuming it's even funny. I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've heard that. Hey, Brad. DJ Greg here. I just want to let you know that you're pissing me off. Oh, shit. Why are there no new shows? I don't think about maybe contributing money through Patreon to not get do. shows, Brad. Fuck I'm you. here to get shows. Eat and shit, I'm not getting shows. So I want an excuse. Die in a fire. I want to know... Why you are letting me... Guess what? I'm playing your voicemail on a new show. And the millions and millions of people around the world that listen to this show... I wish. ...that look to this show for inspiration in these dark times. Why there are no shows, Brad? Why? I'm sickened. You're making me sick. I'm sickened to talk about it. I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm just sick. And it's your fault, Brad. And... And... Fuck me. Make crappy with that Whatever the fuck his name is. All right. Bye, Brad. Love yeah. you. Fuck that guy. Hey, Brad. I was wondering if you could tell Maria to listen to your show more often. Mary Who Cactus. The fuck is Maria? What is with the voicemails today? I don't know what's going on. Hi, Roy. Really, uh, I was just wanting to know if me or anyone would ever see you in public, if you would be all right with, you know, us coming up and shaking your hand or Ew. getting a picture with you. No. Or are you just like one of those celebrities I'm a germaphobe. That don't like paparazzis and all that stuff. But uh, thanks. Bye. So you're a paparazzi? Now you're just making the assumption that I ever leave my house, and I don't. So good luck accidentally bumping into me out on the street. Ha ha, you don't know which phone number uh, the performance arts will come from. First, I'm going to drop you into a drawer and open and close it this slammingly. Hi, then Corbin. I'm going to bounce the telephone off of the chair two times, and then I'm going to throw it at the pillows on the bed. Treat you like the little girl you are. Yay. That was amazing. Thanks, Corbin guy. Hey, uh, Brad, did you know that uh, if you take R, B, C, P, and add O's in the middle, it'll, I'm fine getting and not saying that. I just wanted to say uh, that your shows are awesome and that uh, it's great. I love the Snowplow show. I've been watching for several years. Watch it. So keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Thanks. Hey, Brad. Um, I'm Braden. I'm a blind 16-year-old from Canada. Aha, uh-huh, you're blind. I love your show, man. Ah, oh, sorry, that was mean. I went blind. Like, I didn't think that anything would really make me happy. 
But like, sounds like a hot pocket's about to make you happy right now. You fucking make me laugh, dude. You're hilarious. Keep up good work, man. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm sorry I laughed at your blindness. Hey, Brad. I'm just driving home from work. I thought I'd leave you a message. Oh, it's like I've been my having mother. some great success making prank phone calls, calling hotels, and trying to get like a room for like three or four months. And you know what? When you say that, when you like ask them about monthly rates or whatever, they will like jump like at the opportunity to like sell you those rooms because I'm sure they get some kind of commission or something like that. They're always super, super eager to try and get three or four months. But anyway, it leads on to, you know, I need four months of hotel space so I can grow marijuana. And, you know, I, I had I had some luck, uh, you know, telling there, like, oh, I need to take all the beds out because, you know, all the water from, you know. And it's all about the slow reveal that you're trying to grow marijuana, but then you do reveal it and they get mad at you and yell at you. Anyway, uh, I don't think I stole you that. Get I, their hopes all up and then you just crush their dreams. Yeah, from you. I've heard, like, almost all the shows. So, uh, you know, if that's a new idea to you and you feel like it's funny, then, uh, you know, fucking... Use it, man. I'm gonna steal uh, it. Otherwise, it's mine now. Uh, fuck off. I don't know. I love you. Bye. 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 I'm gonna delete this voicemail and then steal that prank for myself, and he'll never know. Hey, Brad. Uh, I miss the Go Cup song. If you uh, could play that right now and go take a piss, that would be awesome. Thanks. No, I won't. Request denied. I'll put a link in the show notes, though, for you, in case you're too lazy to just Google Go Cup song by Reefer Badness. RBCP stands for Revolutionary Bolshevik Communist Party. Listeners, you know? do not be fooled. Stop listening to the Snowplow Show immediately. Crap. Mr. Brad Carter, if that is your real name, we've got our eye on you. Don't you mean your cacti? Hey, Boom. Brad. I was calling about your sponsor issue that you have. Oh, I just what thought of an idea, and I figured I'd run it by you. My, my latest idea is just to stop doing shows. You know, just do a show like every week or so, and not send anything out in the mail anymore. That's my new idea. So, yeah, you know how you spoof somebody's caller ID, and then that random person gets the fallout. Well, I was thinking you could have two sponsors for the show. One irregular sponsor, and then one the fallout guy. And the fallout guy, you know, you use his caller ID... You know, you, you, his phone number or whatever. And then... I kind of like this idea. Uh, when all the people start calling him, then he can have fun too and screw with the people again. So, yeah, I just figured, you know, I'd run that by and see what you thought. Cactus, cactus. The only problem with that idea is usually I use a phone number that's local to the area that I'm calling. And, I mean, I guess I could call people local to the sponsor's area. But I don't know if anyone even wants that to happen to them. Maybe I'll just do a trial of that without the sponsor's permission. I'll just put their phone numbers in there. Or I'll use the phone numbers of people that leave voicemails for me. I'll let them get all the angry phone calls and the calls from the police. What could go wrong? Hey, Brad. This is Grim. Remember Grim from Xbox? I remember well, you. Well, guess what? Uncle Grandpa pa 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 I'm pretty fucking irate with you right now, you goddamn motherfucker. Because you haven't been sending packages. Where the hell are the packages, I Brad? Know. Guess what? what Guess what? Right now on my desk, there are a big stack of things that were supposed to be mailed out a week ago or two weeks ago. And the sticker company, they didn't send my stickers and I had to write them back and back and forth. And I don't know what happened with that, but they took forever to send my stickers, so I'm completely blaming them. Even though it's really my fault, I could have ordered these stickers months ago. But I swear to you, I have a big stack of cards and envelopes, and your name is on one of them. I know your real name. I remember writing your name last night when I did these cards. So stuff is going out in the mail soon. I promise. And I know it's been a really long time since I've mailed stuff out, too. I kind of suck with that. Worse than doing shows, even. Mm -hmm. Snorting all of our goddamn money up your goddamn nose with all the cocaine you've been doing? <sighs> well, yeah, I know about that, Brad. I heard all about it from the drug dealers. Crap. Well, anyway, I just want to know where my package is. Because I tend to pay $10 a month, and I want to know where it is, okay? Is wouldn't, it a wouldn't you rather I use all my free time to do shows instead of addressing envelopes all evening? The mail? Like I did last night? I don't know. You, just, you haven't fucking told anybody about anything, goddammit, Brad. Shut up. Plus, you haven't been doing Shut that up. many shows. All right. I I'll hate you. I'll see you later, Brad. Bye. Bye. Just kidding. I love you. Every time I watch Netflix in my living room, I always see your name popping up. Grim is online and playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm getting really sick of it. I think I need to delete you. Oh, hey, Brad. This here's Pete. I'd like to... Um, hey, Pete. 
say just how much I love you and I wrote a song for you. It goes oh, like this. Great. <clears throat> honey baby, honey baby, you're my favorite PLA caller. You make me happy with your phone calls and your smile brings joy to my world. And I bet that you probably don't know my name. But I can't go on living with my heart aflame. Cause I love you, honey, baby. Oh, how sweet. More callers should do that on the voicemail. Hey, Brad. I just wanted to uh, call in. It's been a while since I called. Wanted to say that I'm loving the show these days. You're doing a great job. And uh, on the last show that I listened to, today's December 6th-ish, you talked about a deal for an Android for $10. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, recommending that. Although I got ripped off because I didn't know they sold it at Walmart, and I actually bought it online, and I got like $20 in tax and like shipping. Uh So I kind of got screwed over on that. I paid like $9.82 or something like that. uh, It's actually a really good phone. No, Um, it's not. It's a shitty phone. Come on. I'm using it right now. Well, I say really good. The sound quality is probably terrible. Oh, no. Actually, the sound quality sounds awesome. Uh, I'm sure when I listen to it on the podcast, uh, I can tell. But anyway, I hope you have a good holiday if uh, this is if this airs after Christmas. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> you have a good one. You know, it's weird how much I've seen those phones featured on different blogs and stuff. Like people just reviewing what a $10 Android phone is like. And a lot of them just go on and on about how shitty it is. But it's perfect for me. I have two of them mounted up here next to one of my monitors. And I'm using one of them for the music beds for live shows, which is really nice because it's been a long time since I've had that since my old cell phone died. And then I've got the other one set up as just a second soundboard. So basically, I have three soundboards now. I have my two cheap Android phones, and then I have my tablet here sitting on the desk. And I was going to read this other story on the show once, but then I decided it was pointless because nobody gives a shit. But there was big news a while back because these guys came into Walmart and they purchased about 100 of those $10 Android cell phones. And of course, Walmart thought they were terrorists because they weren't white. And there was a big news story about it, and they just assumed that it was going to be used for terrorism or drug dealing, you know, burner phones. The next 9-11 is going to happen because these guys bought 100 cell phones. But that's stupid. I mean, come on, they're buying them to sell them online. Why wouldn't they? But yeah, it is weird how much I have seen those Android cell phones in the news, and I highly recommend picking them up. Uh, I think they're off sale now. They're not $10 anymore. They're like 20 bucks, which is still an amazing price for a cheap Android phone. And they work perfectly for soundboards. I haven't had a single issue with them. And if anyone wants to see my amazing new soundboard setup, I actually nailed them to a 2x4, and I covered the 2x4 with uh, stickers from Oregon Guy. So it looks very artsy sitting up here next to my monitor, and I'll put a link in the show notes to where I posted that picture. I think I posted it on the Snowplow Show Facebook page at facebook.com slash snowplowshow, but I'll put a link just in case it's not there. Because you guys care what my soundboard looks like here at my desk. Wow, I played a lot of voicemails. I think I'm going to quit now, because you guys are probably sick of them by now. I played twice as much as I usually do, and I'm now only two weeks behind, instead of three weeks behind. So that's great. So tomorrow night, on December 24th, me and Carlito are probably going to be doing a show together. I think I mentioned this on the last show. And I don't know exactly what time we're going to go on. It's going to be at some point in the evening. I'm guessing at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, maybe 8 p.m. Pacific Time. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, I don't know, just somewhere around there in the evening, be listening to Prank Call Nation at prankcallnation.com, the website that always exists and will never go anywhere. Be listening on December 24th for a live show by me and Carlito. It should be a lot of fun. And besides that show, I have some bad news for you guys. I might be gone for about a week. I'm not really sure at this point. But if I don't put a show out this Monday, I probably won't put one out for seven days after that because I'm going to be out of town for a bit. Sorry about that, but I will be back soon. And I'll try to do more shows to make up for it. Yeah, right. We'll see about that. But anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy New Year. And I will see you all on Christmas Eve with Carlito. You know, I should give Kay one more try. I'm going to call up Kay before I end the show today, just, just in case. She might answer this time. She might not have gotten in a car wreck and died. We don't know for sure. 
You have reached the desk of KGAL, <sighs> CPS, CAP. All right. Secretary I guess Steve. she's actually dead. Rest in peace, Kay. I'm going to play a song about Kay to end the show with today, just in memory of her. Rest in peace, Kay.
My number's 551-6893. You just stop. Stop all work. I will be there. This is a mistake. I, do not touch my roof. 